Hello and welcome. This is Nate. And you guys have been asking for it, and I finally got them. The brand that you guys have been asking for. These solitaire homes. And let me tell you, this one does not disappoint in any way. It is called the PRT4 SC. It is 16, or excuse me, it is 32 by 86 foot, 2624 square feet. It's a lot to remember. <laughs> yes, one of the largest double wides you can get. Four bedrooms, three bathrooms, if I remember correctly, might even be three and a half, but I know it's at least three. And we have, well, let me just tell you, the closet in the primary bedroom in this one, the nicest closet you'll ever find. I mean, it's stupendous. <laughs> All your bedrooms in this home are extremely large. Come around back here, just see if I can get a shot of the back. Pretty tight back here, so we've got, down at that end there is a sliding glass door we'll have to take a look at on the in, inside. And then you've got your back door right there. So let's come back around and we will head on in before we go in we got to take one more look at this section right here I mean that is really stands out love the door they used not necessarily a full glass but I mean you got that big oval there of course we do have a slightly recessed entrance way This is what you get to see when you first come in. Now there's no power in any of the homes here at this dealer, so bear with me on that. Most of them still have a lot of light coming in. And I haven't even mentioned the fireplace over there. We'll come over and take a better look at that in a second. So you have a really large living room now the carpet in here you can do away with carpet and you can get the same vinyl flooring throughout the whole home but let me just tell you this is some really soft carpet i'm not sure how thick the underlayment is but well it is soft and comfy on the feet <laughs> You got the brick hearth. This is a real wood burning fireplace. Lots of recessed lighting. From your living room, this is the dining space area. There's that sliding glass door we were trying to see on the outside but couldn't quite see. Really like the framework inside the windows there. You got a tray ceiling, all your vents are in the ceiling. 
and they've got six lights in your dining area. So they really want to light up what you're trying to eat. Now as we mosey on into the kitchen, we first have kind of a desk area. This would be, I would say this would be like a bill center. <laughs> Put your mail in there, write out your checks, and if you even write out checks anymore, right? Who does that? <laughs> I've actually paid all my bills online except for my rent. In our kitchen. You've easily got seating for four over here. Two on this side, two on this side. All your plugs are going to be in this little lip right here. All your cabinets are real wood, no pressed wood. The flooring underneath, they pointed out to me, is all plywood. It's not OSB or any kind of pressed wood. It is, what they say, 5 8 inch thick, so really thick stuff. So, and your joists running across are 16 on center, as are your walls both interior and exterior. Now this has the upgraded Frigidaire appliances with the uh, gunmetal stainless steel. You do happen to have drawers above just about every one of your doors. One more cabinet. They are fully adjustable. Now we'll swing around to this side of the kitchen one more time. And we got us a pantry. Your pantry has the glass door. They've got it tied open, so I couldn't shut it. All wooden shelves throughout everything in the home. There are no wire racks in this home. And I believe they said that that is standard. Let me grab the light here so we can come into the utility room. You got your sink. Once again, another stack of drawers. Lots of cabinets in here. There's that back door. You've got your side-by-side -side washer and dryer. And this is your furnace right here. Now it looks like there might even be two of them. Because there's one behind the door too. Maybe this home is big enough that you have to have two furnaces to keep it cool in the winter or summer and hot in the winter. But uh, another thing they pointed out is that all of your all your ductwork is wrapped in insulation. Since we are right here coming out of the utility room, let's, let's go ahead and head into the primary bedroom. Really good sized bedroom. 
and the, we'll get into the bathroom in a minute. You're kind of getting a peek of the closet over there. So let's just come check out the closet. You ready? You got a peek. Your closet is the size of a bedroom. <laughs> Look at all the built-ins in here. Dual shelves over here. One big, long, single shelf. One more over here. But check this one out. You've got nine drawers in your built-in there. Lots of cubbies, and then you've got your vanity mirror. But then you get three more really wide drawers and a couple of cabinets. And then your shoe rack. Nice little bench to sit on even. Now tell me this isn't one of the nicest closets you've ever seen. in your primary bathroom. I mean, look at that thing. <laughs> look how wide your bathroom is. You've got, well, I should say, so you've got his with three drawers and appears to be a medicine cabinet. Hello, Raiden. And then on the back side, You've got hers with two mirrors, your uh, hair and makeup station as they called it. Another stack of drawers. So drawers are a plenty in this home. <laughs> And one of the largest tubs that you can get. Water closet in the very back of the bathroom with a nice big cabinet up above it. And they went with a different tiling here in the bathroom. Now on your master or your primary shower here, there is just the shower. There's no option for tile at the moment in the plant that they built this home. They said that's coming, but at the moment, the plant that this home is manufactured in, there is no option for the tile shower. Now we got to come all the way to the other end of this home. And we're going to we're going to go like this. <laughs> we're going to go right into the guest bathroom. Now as you can see, there is a ton of light in here and there's clearly no window. We thought of that, no window, but you got this big skylight up above you. Now, obviously you can't open it and get any fresh air, but where the bathroom is located, there's no, even though there's no window, you got lots of light coming in. Single piece shower tub combo.
Now, how many kids do you have that have homework to do at, at the end of school when they get home? You got the perfect place for it. Or, in my case, my office. <laughs> Look at all the shelving you get in here. I mean, this is like the perfect office. If you work from home, now you've got the perfect place to set up your, your system at and do all your work at home. If you chose to hide your desk or your tower down below, you could. Most towers now, are they want you to put them on display. All the RGB and everything else that comes with them. But easily enough room for two people to do their homework at. So the first of the guest bath or bedrooms. So this is the first of the guest bedrooms. And I like how that's kind of recessed out back there. Really adds a lot more space to the bedroom. And all our closets are going to be walk-ins. Now granted, there's a lot of trim supplies in this one. And we come into our Jack and Jill bathroom. So once again, the single piece shower tub combo. And yes, your window does open. And as we come into the next bedroom, look at how big this thing is. So this bedroom almost feels like it's as big as a normal primary bedroom. You got younger kids, you could set up two beds in here, or you could have just a ton of play area in here for a single kid. So if they got the big Hot Wheels roundabouts and things like that, they got tons of space to put them up in here. And on to the final bedroom. So what do you think? <laughs> this is the first solitaire home I've ever filmed. So this is the very, obviously the first one of the day. So that would make this one. But anyway, <laughs> so let me know in the comments down below, what do you think of this home? What kind of upgrades would you like to see? Or maybe what colors would you like to see in the cabinets? That kind of stuff. And uh, make sure you're hitting the like button, that subscribe button, turning on those notifications. I got a lot more of these to come. And I will see you soon with some price information. Thanks for watching. Well, welcome back. Now we got to get some price information. But somebody wants to say hi first. What are you going to say hi? We got to say hi. Hey! <laughs> Tell them hi. <laughs> People. You gotta look at the camera. You're the one that says you want your own YouTube channel. You gotta learn how to talk to the camera. Dad, why?
Just gotta look and talk to the camera. My dad's going cuckoo crazy. Going, I am. Cuckoo, cuckoo. <laughs> Whatever, dude. Bye. Bye. We gotta get some price information for you. So once again, this is a really large home. Now right off the top of my head, I done forgot the square footage. I've been fighting with this program since I started this video. It's just been kind of one of those days they did an upgrade or an update to the program. None of the settings I had were saved when they updated the program because it makes you uninstall it, reinstall it with the new updates and all that kind of stuff. So I really hope this kind of turned out all right because I won't know until I do the final edit and do the export to see how everything turned out because some things are kind of jumpy when I'm trying to do the preview. Anyway, we got to get some price information and I will, if, once I do the export, if there's things wrong with this, I'll go back and start looking at what changes or what settings need to be changed again. But with that said, Solitaire Homes in Fort Worth, Texas. This home starts at 198000 Fully optioned out can go up to 226000 So overall, especially for the, the fits and finishes and, you know, all wood shelves and all that other good stuff, that's a really good price. And I found that Solitaire Homes seems to always have really good prices. Hope you all will leave a comment, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.